Capricorn, welcome to your Intimate Tarot reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to know why I read Intimate Tarot, specifically sexual energy, check out the description box. Yeah? And if you like what I do, how I do it, and so forth, let me know. Like, share, maybe subscribe. I appreciate you. And for those of you who have been around, welcome back. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Capricorn. Sexual energy. What's going on for Capricorn, please? Show me Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. Show me that Capricorn sexual energy, please. What's going on? As always, our little reminder for those who need refreshers, take what resonates, leave what does not. Mm -hmm. Reverse energies as it applies, like always. All right. It's normal when portions resonate because collective reading equals collective application. Just because it says Capricorn and you're a Capricorn does not mean it's going to apply to you. In which case, check your other placements or I'll catch you on the next one. Easy peasy. All right. Show me that recent pass, please. Recent past. Show me that recent past, please, for Capricorn. What's going on? Show me that recent past. Okay, you got it. Judgment. Decision to be made. Divine timing. Something like that. In this card, it really does represent more of a decision because in order to access her, whom he desires, he's got to find a way to get over the damn wall. Right? In other words, it's a not easy connection and you have to choose to go towards it, take the wall down, you know, she's not going to him, so you have to make a decision to go to her, that kind of thing. I say he and her are sex relevant tarot. I don't care about any of that shit. Um, you know, but yeah, judgment. And also divine timing. Yes, I see the object of my desire, but now may not be that time. Right? That kind of thing. Show me the current, please. Show me that current sexual energy. Some of you had to put off connections because the timing you felt just was not right, or it was just too damn difficult to obtain. All right? Uh, we'll see what your decision was. Show me the current sexual energy. Show me that current sexual energy. Delayed, delayed gratification. The timing wasn't right to have sex. Um, or it wasn't even, the timing wasn't even right to approach that person full stop. The attraction was there. You know, but maybe they weren't in a good place. Perhaps you weren't in a good place. That kind of thing. Right? Current, please. Show me the current. Show me the current. Show me the current. Four of Wands. That's better. Energy's freed up a little bit more. Nice, nice, nice. Perhaps now is a better timing, so I will do a time check on that and see what now actually is. But Four of Wands, where you can meet on a more mutual ground in terms of sexual energy, okay? And you're more free to express yourself, they're more free to express themselves, something like that. In the recent past, that was not the case. So that's quite the change between now's not a good time to, okay, now we're sharing the same fire, which is great, right? That Four of Wands is mutual. Mm. At least that's what we want. We're going to clarify, of course, but... We shall see. I'm going to do a time check. Show me who is surrounding. Who is surrounding? Dude. Who is surrounding Capricorn, please? Who is provoking? Show me who is provoking, please. The Ace of Arrows. I do not read the baseline in the downright. Okay, so this is more or less what it looks like to me. Someone who has a lot of mental entrapment. Someone who's in their head a lot, very, uh, they get, oh, see, look at that, the underlying's nine of swords, so they get very anxious. This person has a very anxious mind. I don't know if they have an anxious personality, but they have a very anxious mind. This is someone who gets stuck in their thoughts a lot, like a lot. It might be that their anxiety always gets the better of them. This is the kind of person who opts for the kind of the most disastrous thoughts and outcomes and things like that. Uh, I don't know. We're going to see what's on their mind, though. We're going to see what's on their mind. It could be somebody else that, uh, you know. You know, it could be somebody else that um, they did not vibe with you. Perhaps they regret that. I'm not sure. I need to see. Show me strengths. No. Show me strengths, please. Dude, get in line, man. Seriously. <laughs> That's how I handle most relationships. Get in line. <laughs> Take a number. Take a number. I will call you accordingly. Ah. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm funny. I'm probably not. But I'd like to think I am. Show me strengths, please. Show me strengths, please. What's going on? <laughs> strengths is your strengths. That's hilarious. Okay. You might have some Leo in your chart. Strong-willed. Pride as well, but strong-willed to get what you want, of course. Willing to make sacrifices. Ready to do what needs to be done. Just having strength, okay? Having the strength of two people specifically. So if you are connecting with somebody who kind of um, doesn't have the strongest mental disposition, 
Okay. If you really want their energy in your life, be prepared to have the strength or carry the strength of two people, especially if they feel like they are weak at this time or they have a difficulty making decisions, um, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not saying that they're a bad person or a weak person. It's just sometimes there are people who need additional support. All right. And you seem to be willing to carry that burden. Obstacles, please. Obstacles, please. Obstacles, please. Obstacles, please. I need to see what they're all up in their head about, though. Obstacles. I really don't think it's somebody else that's regretting uh, not connecting with you. It feels succinct to me. Perhaps they needed time to get out of their head before they can connect with you. And now that they did, they're no less free. I don't know, man. It's odd. Show me the obstacles, please. Show me the obstacles. Show me the obstacles. Show me the obstacle. Okay. Getting that offer, making it legit, making it solid, making it practical, being able to see where this thing's going to go. Well, that's why we're here. Show me the outcome, please. Show me the outcome, please. Show me the outcome. Okay. King of Arrows seems to be decided. You might have some Aquarius in your chart, in which case I suggest you use it. But your outcome, decided. You decided on something, honey. You either are or you're not with this person. All right? You have to determine if you're going to have the strength. If somebody is just kind of has that... I'm sure they're a great person. I'm sure they're a lovely person. But clearly their energy suggests that they need additional support in order to feel comfortable or secure. Or they might just be a very anxious person. They might, in the general sense, have a very difficult time making decisions. You know, so you got to figure out if this is where you want your ace to go. All right, let's see. But there's definitely something here, and it feels newish. You might have tried to approach this person in the past, and they just kind of, mm, 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 mm. And it took work. You had to work with them. You had to work with them. You had to keep reapproaching them gently. This might be a nerve. Oh, that's what it is. Is this a nervous Nelly type situation? You know. You had to keep coming around, keep coming around, so that they would show themselves more and more and more before they warmed up to you. Okay. Sure, that happens all the time. Absolutely. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Split. Queen of Cups, I'm going to have to deal with the water sign. What's going on, please? Show me judgment in this recent past. Show me, okay. Ooh, yeah, you saw the potential. They didn't. I'm telling you right now. I know what's up, man. Let me know if you could literally have been dealing with the Gemini. Uh, it was a lover's type situation. Okay, that, that last... I knew it, man. I fucking knew it. We had to keep coming around. You didn't immediately dismiss it, but you had to keep coming around for this person's comfort. Okay, for their comfort level to get comfortable with you, to warm up to you, you name it. It was quite the thing, but you had to be gentle. So we're, lo we're looking at a nervous Nelly or someone who's not quite sure right? They needed a lot of reassurance. And again, some people are like that. Uh, they need to see that same person over and over again in their sphere and their vision in order to them to get acclimated to that person's energy. That happens a lot. So I'm guessing you saw the potential in this person, but you're the one who had to keep coming around. You're the one that had to keep showing Somebody did. Reverse energies as it applies. It could be that someone had to keep coming around for you and they made themselves a little bit more visible every day. Uh, got a little more comfortable with that conversation every day before we could get the nerve to ask somebody out or for them more to the point to get comfortable with the other person's energy. And that's what we're seeing here. Okay. We have somebody here who's a little more on the skittish side, but it doesn't make it any less of a powerful connection here at the lovers. Okay. Which I'm sure you've heard me say before, it's a multi-layered bond system, but we had to, it took a while. It took a while for that person to warm up, mm -hmm, to make that decision to say yes or to be a little more receptive, is my point, to the energy being offered here. Very strong. I do feel like it was you who kind of gently kept coming around to get this person to warm up. Um, but yeah, it's a strong connection here. This person, they have a harder time recognizing that natural connection because they're up here a lot, okay? All right, current is that uh, they're a little more receptive to you. Nothing crazy. It's four wands. And again, four wands doesn't mean, oh, marriage and bliss and happily ever after. I don't know when the fuck that started, but it's not right. Four wands is either marrying, okay, or personal energetic happiness in our immediate surroundings. All right, so again, we can associate that with home, you bet. But that doesn't necessarily mean there's somebody in that home. All right? But yes, mirroring is possible, and then just basic happiness reflection of 
just rejoicing in the small things, the little things, okay? Yeah, although, true, you might have met this person at a wedding. But I feel like this was more of a day-to-day -day thing. We had to keep walking by. We had to keep walking by where this person is or worked or whatever. The Ace of Cups just tried to pop out. Four of Wands, show me this current sexual energy is the Four of Wands. Show me this Four of Wands energy, please. Show me, okay. It took a lot of little conversations. <laughs> It took a lot of little conversations. It took a lot of little conversations to get this person to warm up to you. To start uh, to start bearing that energy. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. Page of Swords. It took a minute. It took a minute. We had to watch. We had to learn. We had to pick up on this person's cues. Oh my goodness. Oh no wonder strength is under your strength, honey. Yeah, this person took some work. Again, I'm not trying to knock it. I'm just, just for me, myself, my perspective, I'm removed from that because I tend to be a strong-willed individual, but not everybody's like that. Sometimes, um, you know, they are Adrian from Rocky. You know, they need the constant reassurance and, and um, the strength of somebody else's determination and fortitude before they can feel warmed up to it. Sure, that's absolutely a thing. Um, so show me, it was a lot of little conversations, but we made progress. Slowly but surely, we made progress with this per I gotta do a time check. For some of you, this has not even happened yet. You're still in this process of seeing this person or talking to this person. Low level. Tic-tac. We're talking tic-tac. Okay. To get the... So we haven't even gotten quite to a date yet. That's for some of you. Okay. I gotta do a check on this. All right. What else, please, about that four of wands? What, dude, what's with the blockage? Yeah, well, overall. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're trying. The, the, their energy is getting a little more receptive, but it's page of swords. <laughs> okay, all right, is that it? The world. So it is opening up. It's just taking a minute, honey. It's taking a minute, as you know. It's opening up, but it's, it's slow. We're slowly but surely developing the memories. For some of you, your person is still uh, not over a six of cups of the past, true enough, so they might be a little love shy right now. Uh, that's not for everybody. All right, let's see what's on their mind. Show me this eight of swords. What's all up in their head? Why do they get up all in their head? All right. Knight of swords, knowing to take action. So they struggle with knowing when to act, to take action, or to speak up. Okay, all right. So they struggle with the action component. Uh, what else, please? What else, please? Ah... Uh... Your person may have been coming out of a spiritual bond of some type as well. But more to the point, the Knight of Swords here to the hair fonts, they have a hard time really escaping their head. Like, really hard, man. You have to remember the hair font means so many things, and particularly in sexual energy, it's almost always negative. We don't really want to see that guy at all, you know, unless it's an outcome or it's an opening. But usually in the anywhere in the middle is not so great. Um, so this person has a hard time getting outside their headspace, uh, particularly their spiritual normative, their script, their playbook, their spiritual script and or playbook. They have a hard time getting out of that. They might be extremely religious, extremely shy, and they use their spiritual beliefs as justification that keep them inhibited. Um, it, it could be that they also have a very dumb, I hate to say this, but this is coming across kind of weird. Um, they might have a very domineering male figure in their life, like dumb, disapproving. They disapprove of this person dating. We're talking dad, we're talking like uncle, grandpa, something like that. Because again, hair font and sexual energy, not... I, mm, he's meant to be a supportive, healthy male figure, but he can also be exquisitely inhibiting and or prohibiting. So this person's prohibition or inhibition could be internal or external, but likely a combination of the two. So this person might have very strict normatives. It might be very difficult for them to date. Their energy might be naturally shy. And I do feel like they might have a dominating figure around in their life that tells them what to do all the time. Or at least that's their internal dialogue. There's a very strong market sense of disapproval here. So this person might be very different from you, and they know that this person would disapprove of that connection. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. It would be very different from you. You might have different religions, races, cultural backgrounds, beliefs, normatives, you name it, but he represents the rule book. He represents that rule book. That's what this person plays by, and that's what's fucking with their head. Because while they are interested in you, and they are warming up to you, there's something in their head that says, 
don't do that. Don't go out with that Capricorn or relationship in general. I don't know, but it's very disapproving, very stern and very inflexible. They also just might have inflexible thinking again. That is just as bad as when your card shows up or the hair font shows up. It's kind of reversal in the sexual energies. Again, we don't want him here. We want him over here, not in here. Okay. Um, and this person might be very uncomfortable with dating in the general sense. Uh, there's sexual energy because, again, it's sexual energy here. And they might be exquisitely, painfully uncomfortable with their sexual energy. He also represents permission. And this person is not getting permission, especially in their headspace about the sexual energy with you. Um... It's a strong connection. I know you recognized it. You recognized it well enough and um, with some interest enough to keep coming around, okay, um, to give them a sense of security and so forth. It, it's so, and this is why it's so painfully slow. The cycle is slowly opening. Oh, they got a bunch of headspace shit, man, that really prohibits them. Um, so stern. They might have Taurus in their chart. You could be dealing with Taurus. Uh, that's not really the point. Giving themselves permission to feel that kind of natural energy, the sexual energy, can't get out of their heads about it, or they feel like their relationship or the connection with you would be strongly disapproved or frowned upon. Okie. Okay. Okie okay, dokie. And if that's true, if that resonates with you, then you already know that, or perhaps you don't know that yet, especially if you're back here in this phase. Okay? All right, let's keep on keeping on you. Yeah? But yeah, it's, they could also just, in the general sense, have a very poor idea of sex. And the expression of it, what's allowed, what's not allowed, commitment first, all that stuff. And if that's your belief, that's your belief. But the reason why I don't agree with it in this person is because it causes them conflict. If it causes them conflict, that means it's automatically no, but they believe it because that's what they've been told. If somebody really, genuinely, truly believed no sex before marriage, this conflict wouldn't be here. It's that simple. But when the conflict exists, the old way of thinking and doing is not working. It's not adapting. They're struggling to emotionally attach. Okay. All right. Show me strength, please. Show me strength, please. I mean, again, this is why we're here. I do the real shit. This is what it looks like. Okay. And I feel like Capricorn, the one I'm reading, you have a tendency to gravitate towards people who who kind of have that vibe to them. Show me strength, please. Show me strength. I know it shows grounding and stability for you, and you're very attracted to that. But yeah, I mean, honey, you, you're really attracted to a challenge. That's really what your thing is. You're attracted to a challenge, and you've got it with this person. The Hermit, you're taking strength not to rush it. This person needs space for the new love, okay? You also might have some, again, Virgo in your chart. Okay. Oh, okay. You're over here examining if it wouldn't be easier possibly to have new options in love, but I don't think you're interested. I don't think you... I think you're very much interested in this person. Um... You've already kind of concluded that you wish you could see more evidence of their passion. Okay, but for the time being, you understand that you have options in love, so if this doesn't work out, it's fine. But for now, you seem to be content to pursue it because you are seeing little steps of progress trying to get this person to open up. Um, specifically, some of you are looking forward to that first kiss with this person. Okay, so we're very anxious, though, about the energy flow. We're very anxious. The more you engage with this person's energy, the more anxious you get about it. Like, is it going to start to flow more naturally? Because raw hair is so baby steps, right? We're getting more and more anxious. And you don't want to get invested in something where you're emotionally invested and it's not going anywhere, right? So I think the conclusion here is you're going to give a little more time because you want to make sure that um, that pentacle is going in the right direction. This person could well be a, a, a very strong direction if they can get out of here. Okay? So you're going to hang out a little more. All right? But uh, if that energy doesn't open up, you're going to do what you need to do over here as the king of swords. Obstacles. Is that ace of pentacles? Is this person worth the investment? Right? You don't want to become emotionally attached just for it to not go anywhere. They just kind of cop out and say, I'm sorry, we're just too different, or I'm not comfortable with that, or, you know, I just, I just, I just feel like my dad or whoever wouldn't approve, shit like that. 
Ace of, that still happens. That still happens, honey. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles, the, exactly. If it doesn't feel correct, if there's that pentacle is going nowhere, you know, you have to take off, start a new adventure. You've already kind of arrived to this comfortable conclusion. Okay. If they're too guarded or if they remain too guarded, if you're, wet, if you're left waiting too long without results, you will move forward. And I have to agree. It's a strong correction. Uh, excuse me, I'm very tired. It's a strong connection, and you saw it from the beginning. You came around long enough to see if they'd warm up to you, and they did, but it's so micro, and they seem to have so many inhibitions. So again, if they can't get out of their head, it's not going to go forward. You have to know what is worth your ace of pentacle, right? All right, anything else, please? Okay, Ace of Swords, it's the truth. It's, it's, as I said that, Ace of Swords, it's your truth and you're sticking to it. Good, so you have a plan. King of Swords is the outcome. Let's take a look-see. Let's see what actually happens. We have strength here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're, you, you, the outcome is pretty straightforward. I think you can see that for yourself. That You've already made your conclusion in the outcome. All right. This is your mental determination. I don't know that it's an absolute... It's more like this is what you've resigned yourself to. If you're not seeing the results that you want, you will start a new chapter. You've already kind of concluded this. You're very comfortable with that decision. Yes, you see the potential in this person, but the thing is they don't, and you know it. They're, they're too shaky, they're too insecure, or they're too controlled or dominated by somebody else's energy in terms of their thinking. They can't think for themselves. They have a hard time breaking out of that this is the spiritual rule book I've been led to believe box. Okay, so the King of Arrows, you've already made a decision that you will take the strength. You can either have the strength of two people, right, and support this person if they need it, if they choose to engage in a relationship, or you can have the strength to end it and move on with your life. I mean, that's damn near the literal translation, honey. Strength, Ten of Swords, Chariot. In other words, the decision is made. I'm seeing a game plan as opposed to an absolute, so again, do keep that in mind. You've already made the comfortable decision. Many of you are still back here where you're still trying to get this person to warm up to you. Speaking of which, let's take a look at that. Okay. This one's incredibly straightforward, you know, which again is very like you. I know you like a challenge. I know you do, but there's a challenge to what end. Eventually, the challenge has to have a top out. You know, just because you want to climb Everest doesn't mean you can. So there's challenge and then there's sanity, all right? You want a challenge that's within reason. And this person's energy is true. It's a challenge, but it's also a call with that lover's energy. And you're trying to honor the call. But if they can't meet you where you are, then there you are. That's it, okay? There's a challenge and then there's just doing stupid shit to do stupid shit, okay? That's, mm-mm, okay? Um... That's what jackass is for. That's just doing, that's not a challenge. That was just doing stupid shit to do stupid shit. All right. And that's how you end up in the hospital, baby. Okay. Not that I'm saying that's the case with this person. At least we hope not. When, when does Capricorn meet this person? When does Capricorn meet this person? I feel like for many of you it's, it's happening now, but show me when does Capricorn meet this person? For some of you, Aries. It could be the time of Aries, so upcoming for some of you, April. But for others of you, simply four. It might have been four days ago, four weeks ago, four years ago. I hope not. Or it's going to be in four, upwards to four. So four from now, four days from now, four weeks from now, four months from now. Or it could be the fourth of any given month. Okay. Four might be a significant marker for some of you. All right. Um, for some of you, it is December. Oh, God, let's see. Yes. Okay. There's your energy. For some of you, it was August. For some of you, it was August. For some of you, it was August. Very recent. See, they're trying to put love energy out, but then they shut it down immediately. They're just not comfortable with it. I can't tell if it's in reaction to relationships in general or it's because you're different from what they've been led to believe or you challenge their belief system in a way that they're struggling with. Okay. What else, please? Other time markers? August, like I said, some of you literally met this person in August and you're still doing this kind of delicate dance back here. Okay. And for some of you, is that work? For some of you, it was July. For some of you, it was June with that lover's energy. Sure. 
like I said, June for some of you, and you're still doing this kind of slow warm-up dance and you're not getting enough proof yet. For some of you, it will be upcoming in the season of Aquarius. Okay. All right, I think that's enough, really. Um, you have a plan in place, and for some of you, upcoming October or 10 weeks from now. Okay. All right, I think that's enough. That's It's pretty straightforward. There's no more... There's no reason to make it more complicated. It's it's kind of straightforward, honey. Uh, crab, confirmation that your pants, your person is a Cancer. A fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Initial A, Irish Celtic symbol, Irish Celtic roots. Uh, Irish person, Aquarius. Um, leopards, cheetah, seahorse, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, shark. Yeah, you're pursuing them. <laughs> Or there might be a fascination here with great white sharks, in which case that's confirmation for some of you. H, R, R, S, J, B, K. Okay. And then we have an octopus. Some of you, again, confirmation of water energy, heavy water energy here, as well as fire, like I said, and yeah, but heavy water. Okay. Okay. Let's see. The octopus is so interesting. Somebody might like calamari, I don't know. Oh, dragon again, more fire energy there. We got G, we got J, we got H, elephant. Somebody might have a thing, elephant might be somebody's favorite animal. And here we have the horcrux. No, is it the horcrux? It's not the horcrux. It's the symbol from Harry Potter where it incorporates the wand, the cloak, and the ring. Somebody might be really, really into Harry Potter. Um, that's not a couple million people, is it? Okay, anyway, Capricorn, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. All right, take care. Be well.